Hey, so what's going on guys? Matthew with Drug Reviews and welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be checking out the medium mod for the GoPro Hero 9 Black. I've never actually tried a medium mod before. Uh, on the GoPro Hero 8, I didn't really need the front-facing screen at that time. So I never actually got to buy the medium mod. But however, on the Hero 9 Black, I think the features are what I need. So overall, I think it's a complementary accessory to the already pretty good action camera the Hero 9 Black. So before we begin the unboxing of the medium mod, uh, sub to the channel would definitely be awesome. And also ding the notification bell so you can get notified on the latest videos which I post. And without further ado, let's get right into the unboxing of the medium mod for the GoPro Hero 9 Black. Alright guys, so right in front of us, we have the medium mod. So this is not unboxed, this is a brand new sealed box. And I've never actually seen it in person for the first time yet. So this is going to be a very honest first impression. So right here we have the media mod box. You can see right here the features. So it is weather resistant. It has a directional mic. It also has a 3.5mm mic port which is the reason why I bought this media mod. It's a HDMI out port as well as a USB-C port. You might be wondering, is my camera still waterproof? No, it's not because you do have to remove the waterproof battery door. So there's something you do have to take in mind when buying the media mod. So you can see how it looks on the Hero 9. You can see a big 9 right here. Right, so moving to the back, you can see turn your GoPro Hero Black, yada, 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 and all this into, I should say, a vlogging machine because this actually improves the audio quality as what they say. Even if the inbuilt mic on the media mod is not up to standard you can also plug in an external mic so that's uh, something comforting i should say so i was considering this medium mod and the other audio accessories where you can actually plug in external mic as well but that came with a cable and you had to get the the cage the ulanzi cage to go with it and the experience i'm very sure would not be as cohesive as the medium mod right here because this attaches right to the gopro hero 9 black itself so that's the reason why I picked this even though it costs 399 ringgit. Of course, you can get it for a discount for around 350 odd ringgit, 360 ringgit. Yes, if you did buy a GoPro from the GoPro dealer, a GoPro shop, you can actually get a 10% discount. Alright, so moving on. Yes, it includes the medium mod of course. Then you have a removable windscreen. Then you get a vertical mounting buckle and a thumb screw. Because you do need the extended thumb screw because this makes your GoPro a whole lot bigger. So that's also another thing you do need to keep in mind when buying the media mod. So you can see how it works right here. So if you do have the display mod from your Hero 8, you are able to use this on the Hero 9 Black as well. Alright, so let's cut the seal right here at the bottom. It's brand new, so let me get my unboxing knife. We'll slice it right here. Okay, so there it goes. Alright, let's take a look for the very first time. Sliding it out. You see, let me do the right way. Alright, so that's about it for the box. So first things first, we do get a limited lifetime warranty. So limited lifetime warranty. So there are terms and conditions, of course. Then you get a medium mod instruction manual or user guide, I should say. So this shows you how to use and install the medium mod. So I'll check that out later. Alright, so what else do we have? We have, let me show you the thumb screw right here try to get this out okay all right so here's a thumb screw this is the extended thumb screw so you can accommodate the extra width of the camera all right so that that goes thumb screw what else do we have and try to get all these out in one piece all right so we also have uh, the buckle so what they were saying on the box so this is very good if you are using this on a helmet or something like that Definitely, this will come in handy. Last but not least, the start of the show, the media mod itself. Let me take both items out of the box. All right, so that's about it. You can see the box is empty. Let me put that to the side. So right here, I have the removable windscreen. So this is a clip-on solution, which just clips on to the media mod, as simple as that. So this is a good accessory if you're shooting outdoors with a lot of wind. Let's take a look at the media mod itself. So you can see right here, the design made of a hard plastic very similar to the Hero 9 Black itself so that's a very good touch considering that you're paying a lot of money for this accessory I think the quality is up to standard I should say alright guys so taking a look at the top you can see the record button which mirrors the button on your Hero 9 Black the button on top on the right side we do get a Koshu mouse so you can attach things like lights mics 
or even the display mod as well. So that's the only place you can actually install the display mod right here. So right here, you get the mic as well. This is omnidirectional mic. And on the right side, we get another kosher mount for your light or something like that depends on the orientation you're shooting with your GoPro as well. So take a look at the bottom. This is where the extended pump screw comes into play because you can see this is actually pretty wide. And especially when you're using it on a shorty, you definitely need the extended thumb screw. So you can see right here, there's a groove right here as well. So taking a look at the left, we get the GoPro logo as well as the mode or power button. And that's basically it. We do get a clip here to open the medium mode if I'm not mistaken. All right, so now that I've got the case open, let's take a look at the insides. You can see the quality right here. So you can see how the buttons work inside of the case. And this is where you do need to remove the waterproof battery housing door. You can see right here. So this is where the USB-C port goes in. So very simple and easy. All right, let me grab my GoPro Hero Knife Black and remove the door, pull it towards you. And there it goes. I'm always so paranoid of like breaking the clips right here, but do not worry, it'll be fine because it's meant to be very durable all right guys so let's install the gopro hero 9 black into the medium mod so you just have to follow the railings it slides in just like this and all you need to do right after that is just to close the flap flaps into place you can hear the click and basically you're good to go so it's very very simple and one more thing i forgot to mention are these three flaps behind so on the first flap you get the hdmi output and this middle flap Second flap, you get the USB Type-C connector for charging. And last but not least, you have the 3.5mm mic input jack. So that's something I do like. It's all covered, so it is weather sealed. Simple as that. And it feels really good in the hands. In fact, really, really feels good. Feels sturdy. I did have to take out my screen protector though because the side here wouldn't sit into the groove so that's something you do have to take note of if you are using a tempered glass screen protector just like i am so let's power on the camera so a splash screen just showed up media mode connected the mic is set to front tap video settings to change it and set up a shortcut so that's done all right so another cool feature is that you get to see the volume your mic volume right here you get to monitor how loud your mic is just that I'm monitoring the mic volume on the camera which I'm shooting this video on. So that's a pretty good thing. So if it does peak, you know what to do. So that means the gain is too high. So in my quick toggle, I actually assign the top left. So I can just click on it to adjust which mic to use. So it's very simple. Just click on that. Front, back, and camera mics. So the camera mics will actually use the inbuilt camera mics to actually record the audio. So that's pretty good. So you still get an option right there. So I do wish the front also showed the audio level, the mic level, but however, it's only on the main display. So yeah, they could add that in a software update, but I'm not sure whether the screen size will allow it because it's pretty small. All right, so let's test out the mic. So I'll be recording from the front mic first and then the rear and then the inbuilt camera mics. So this is an audio test using the front microphone of the GoPro media mod. So let me know how it sounds. So testing one, two, three. This is a real microphone test of the GoPro Hero 9 media mod. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Testing one, two, three. This is an audio test of the internal mics of the Hero 9 Black. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Testing, one, two, three. Okay guys, so now that you've heard the audio quality coming out of the inbuilt mics as well as the external media mod mics, let me know in the comments what you guys think of this media mod. Do you think 399 ringgit is worth it? Or do you think the external audio adapter along with a Yulanzi cage would be a better deal? So do let me know in the comments. However, I'll be leaving the link of this media mod so you can get it if you're interested. For me, I think this is a very slick mod. And if you do have the shorty, you can still mount the shorty at the bottom just like you would a GoPro without the medium mod. So it's very simple. Of course, I'll be using the external mic just like the mic I'm using on this camera right now. In my opinion, if you do want better audio, definitely get external mic. But if you do want to do simple vlogging and day-to-day -day life, definitely the inbuilt mics 
are more than adequate all right so this concludes my video hope you guys like it if you did like it do hit the thumbs up button and also subscribe to this channel for more content just like this i have an e-bike review coming up soon i'm holding it off because of the covid pandemic it's getting worse in malaysia so i'm holding it off and i will get that video to you as soon as possible because i'm pretty excited about that product as well all right so thanks guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video